Hi guys, we are outside. This is my definition of we outside, okay? Literally at the park, me all summer. <laughs> Truthfully, I feel like I finally listened and now I am receiving answers to different things that I have been asking for a very long time. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys will rock with me. This is my first like outside tree talk. Cute, right? Tree talk. Um, <laughs> so if the lighting, the audio, just, just bear with me for this one. Um, but I'm excited for it. I feel so like joyous out in nature. And before this, before today, I really like cared about what other people thought. Like I would never come out here, camera, I got my camera, my screen, like everything. I would never come out here and do all this. I would be so like, oh my God, who's looking at me, who's judging me. And now I just don't care. And that alone, we can just start there. Have the courage to not care, to not, worry about what other people are going to say or think because that will keep you down here for a long time. I feel like for a long time I was kind of just stuck in this same space and I realized yesterday it's because I don't have the courage to be disliked or at least I did it. Today's a new day and I'm feeling great and I feel like I am walking in um, that direction of just like I don't care okay. I am in people pleasing recovery, by the way. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not on crack. I just have a Celsius. <laughs> yeah, I am so excited. I guess that's the first like thing that I want to talk about is having the courage to be disliked, having the courage to speak your mind, to be authentic, to do things that scare you, right? Step outside of your comfort zone. You never know what is going to happen. You never know what is beyond that so I am here I am excited I hope that you guys enjoy these tree talks because I really feel different out here I really feel like I am just receiving downloads and just speaking right a lot of the time when we have like this perfect setup and we try and make everything perfect we forget to be authentic in the process and I think with a lot of my videos, that's what was happening. Even though that's not what I wanted to happen, that's just kind of what was happening, right? We worry so much about, oh, making things perfect that we forget to be our authentic self. So, we are out here, y'all. I'm excited. Um, so one thing that I wanna talk about, what kind of led me here today is I want to talk about celibacy. I know we are we're going for it. Okay, we are just jumping right in. So for a long time, I felt called to be celibate, or at least to take the necessary time for myself, right? And sex is not something that like I talk about very often. It's not something that I do very often or that I necessarily need. But during this journey of singleness I found myself um, continuing to make the same choices the same mistakes and not really like progressing within myself and within what it is that I wanted and I felt like a big part of that was God just telling me hey just be celibate for a short amount of time right and so I decided because mind you celibacy sure you could be not having sex there was periods of time where I was not having sex but I didn't commit to being celibate there's a difference right there's a difference between not having sex and committing to celibacy so on May 1st I officially committed to celibacy so today is June 1st and Throughout the month, you know, there's always opportunities, let's be real. But, you know, it, it wasn't very challenging necessarily. But I was able to cut off someone that literally had a hold on me, y'all, <laughs> for months. Like, the only person I would fold for, the only person that, like, I was, like, in love with. But that's another trauma story for another time. <laughs> um, but during that month, I was able to 
actually cut that person off after trying time and time again and failing. So that was one perk. Because it's like, if we take sex off the table, I can really see you for who you are and how you're treating me. And I don't like it. <laughs> um, I know I deserve better. So another thing that happened is this morning I woke up and I just started receiving like all of these different messages. And then I realized, oh, it's the first. It's been like an official month for me. And so I think that when we, my, my whole point in this is that when we listen to what it is that God wants us to do, what it is that spirit, our higher self wants us to do, we are rewarded. And so I feel rewarded for actually listening and actually um, making that commitment, right? I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know. That's not even like something on my mind. I really don't care. Um, it's just the fact that like, oh my God, you've been asking me to do this for so long and like I've just been ignoring you. But now that I'm not ignoring you, we're here and I just feel I feel like I'm in flow. I feel like I'm in alignment. And I'm like, dang, of course we think, oh, I should have done this before. But that's really why I wanted to talk about this today because I feel like God will challenge you, right? Spirit will challenge you to do things that they know that you need so that you can grow. And so... A lot of the time we have to quiet our minds enough to listen. We are too busy scrolling. We are too busy looking at what other people are doing. We are too busy working. We are too busy with all of these different things that we are not quiet enough to actually hear what it is that we need to do. And so I want to take a moment to just encourage you to take a moment for yourself to ask and be ready to receive we be asking all day god help me with the rent god da 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 how can i get this how can i do that but you don't even take a moment to like meditate to quiet your mind to stop being distracted with all of these different things to actually listen another thing that i want to talk about today is purpose and this is another thing that i literally woke up and god was like hey talk about this and i'm like cool makes sense a lot of the time we think that our purpose or our life in general is about us sure we are the main characters of our life but our life our purpose is not about us my purpose in doing this is not about me and for a long time I've been doing this for years now for a long time I thought it was about me. And God literally told me this morning, it's not about you, Sid. As much of a shocker as it was, I felt so comfortable in that. I felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulder because I'm like, oh, wow, if it's not about me, then I don't care. <laughs> How can you care if it's not about you? If it's something that God tells you to do, if this is something that is anointed, if it is in alignment with your highest self, why would you care? So I no longer care to come out here. Someone asks me what I'm doing, someone's staring at me, I don't care because it's not about me. It's about what I am doing here. So I wanna leave you with this thought because for a long time, I thought my purpose was supposed to feel good, that it was supposed to be easy, that it was supposed to be something for me. And then I realized that it's not always supposed to feel good. The right thing does not always feel good. And sometimes the wrong thing feels right. And so that's up to you to like discern something to think about something to ponder right after this video take a moment to receive take a moment to ponder and to just be one with yourself
one with God, one with nature, <laughs> if you can go outside, one with your life. Be here with it. That's all I have for this little tree talk, okay? Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and God bless. Bye. <laughs> I didn't want to say bye all up in the all up in the mic.